or the temple. And he had decided that the very survival of Judaism was on his shoulders. After a four-month siege, Rome's legions finally broke through the first wall of the city. The zealots rushed to meet them and fought with tremendous bravery. But they could not prevent the Romans from fighting their way to the heart of the city, the temple. The Romans proceeded as far as the Holy House itself. Then one of them set fire to it. Now the Jews suffered nothing to restrain their force, nor tried to save their lives, since their holy house was perishing. The temple, the only place on earth according to the Bible, where God could be worshipped, was laid to waste by the Romans. As for a great part of the people, they were weak and without arms, and had their throats cut wherever they were caught. In the temple around the altar lay dead bodies heaped one upon another, and at the steps going up to it ran a great quantity of their blood. In the history of the world, no nation has ever suffered such a calamity. The destruction of the temple in the year 70 was the greatest catastrophe and trauma to happen to the Jewish people, I would argue, until our own time in the Holocaust. It was the center of the economic life of the Jewish people, as if the Federal Reserve was housed in the temple. It was the center of the judicial life. The Supreme Court was housed in the temple. It was the center of the religious life, as if the high priest was the chief rabbi, centered in that building. And in a matter of hours, it was gone. When the temple was destroyed, everything was gone. There was no other branch of government because it was all invested in the priesthood and the high priest and the temple. With the seat of God on earth in ruins, the religion of the priests and their rituals was lost forever. How would Judaism and the Jews survive?